right, so this is how you play Birdhouse by Tiny Moving Parts. First, let's tune our guitar. The sixth string is C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, G sharp, C, and D sharp. And no capo for this song. All right, so the intro to the song sounds like this. All right, so the first section of the song is the which you're just uh, playing the open sixth string, you're at 12 on five, and then you're hitting 15 on the second string, and then kind of letting the rest of them ring open, you're muting the third too. And then you just move up from 15 to 17, so it sounds like. And then it goes into the tapping section, which slowed down sounds like this. And if you're lucky, you'll destroy your finger on the uh, sharp strings up at the top of the neck when you do that, like I did. Um, and so the first note of the tapping section, which you actually pick, is on the third string at nine, and you pick it, and then you pull off, and then the next note you pick is four on that third string. And then you hammer on to the five, pull off to the fourth, pull off to the open. And then this is where you tap. After that open, you hammer on on the fifth string at seven. And then pull off. And then with your left hand, you you just slide, you hammer on to two, slide to four, slide back down to two, and then pull off. And then that's where you hit just the top of the strings above the nut. It's kind of hard to get sounding right. It sounds better if you're not muting the strings. And then you play a harmonic on all the strings at five. It's kind of hard to get it to sound perfectly right, um, but it's really fun to play. And then the second part of that, you play that twice on the intro, and then the second part kind of goes down to this lower register. Same strumming pattern, but you're at nine on the fifth string and 12 on the second. And you go from 12 to 13 on the second. Then you hit this new chord, which is seven on the fifth string and seven on the second string and you let the third string ring open. And then the next chord after that is, and this last chord is open on the sixth and five on the fifth. Mute the fourth, fifth is open, and second string is at eight. And then you can let the sixth, the, you can let the first string ring too because it sounds nice. So it plays the high part twice, and then it plays the low part twice, and then it goes back to the high part where the vocals come in, and it's just repeated again, the whole section. You go twice up here, and then twice down here. And then that kind of rings out, 
And then that kind of rings out and that brings you into the verse. Um, a little thing that adds on the end of that is um, you can fret the, the first string at seven. So you kind of have this where you're fretting the eight and the seven on the last two strings. And it kind of plays around with that as it rings out. So the next part of the song is the probably the hardest part of the song. The first like minute of this whole song is super complicated on guitar, and then it gets really simple at the end. Um, but so the verse of this is this tapping section that goes like this. <laughs> All right, so this tapping section is played four times, and it's the same every time except it has a different like tail end piece. So uh, let's start with the tapping section itself. You first you pick the open sixth string, and then you mute it, and then you hammer on the, the fourth string at twelve. Um, a lot of this, what makes this section so challenging is like muting all the strings that aren't being played. Um, so as soon as you strum that, you have to pause it as you're hammering on the 12. Um, so it goes like this. So you hammer on at 12, and we're at the fifth string, and then you pull off. Then you hammer on the two, hammer on the four, and then pull off of the four. So slow, it'll sound like. And then again, we mute that string as the same time we're tapping at 12 on the first string. And then the first string progression will sound like. So it's the same kind of simple tap thing where you hammer on 12, pull off to open, hammer on seven, hammer on nine, and then pull off to open. And then mute that string, and then we hammer on 12 at the fifth string. And then here we're hammering on 12, pulling off to open, hammering on seven, and then hammering on to eight. So that's the tapping section, and I'll play the whole thing together slow so you can hear it. So that's the tapping section, then after you play this little two string strum part where we're going to strum on the third string and the second string, and we're going to keep the third string open the entire time, but we're going to move our hand on the second string. And that right there is we start at the eighth, which we, we left off up from the tapping section, and we slide up to 15. And then we slide down to 10, and then slide up to 12. So that's the ending part, which each time we play is going to change a little bit. And then after that you go right back into repeating the tapping section by picking the sixth string open. And the second time we go from five, remember we're fretting the second string here and keeping the third open, just from five to three. Repeat again the third time. Same as the first time, so we slide from 8 to 15, 10 to 12. And then repeat for the fourth time. We start at the fifth, and then that leads us into the next section of the song where it's And 
and that section of the song is just these four chords similar to the intro that we learned we're going to be at the fifth fifth string on the fifth fret and we're going to mute the, the, the sixth string and then we're going to play the third open and then we're going to be at eight on the second string so that previous part kind of leads you into that because it's goes from five to seven to eight and this is like strummed fast here second chord is at seven on the fifth and seven on the second and you play the third open third we're at nine on the fifth and twelve on the second and then the last chord in that section, we just shift that shape down to seven on the fifth, open third, and 10 on the second. And then it does one of those and goes back into the riff from the intro just once though. And then it plays that harmonic, it lets that ring out but then it goes down to the second part of the song without playing the tapping part. So all together, that section will sound like this. So you're playing that high part and then the low part back to back without any of the tappings. And again, the low part here, you're at nine on the fifth, you're keeping the sixth open, and then you're at 12 on the second. 12 to 13. That's the seven chord at the fifth string, and then the seven at the second. Open five, open third, and eight at the second, and then you can let the first string ring. And then we get into the next section of the song, maybe it's a bridge. And that part is, you're gonna fret the sixth string at four. You're muting the fifth. You're gonna leave the fourth open. And we're going to fret the third string at four as well. And then on the third string, we're going to go from four to five. The second chord here, five on the fifth, five on the fourth, and then we're doing seven on the third. So it's a bit like a power chord. And then we fret on, on the third string, we fret from seven to nine. And then you just strum out the last chord, which is the same shape as you did here, but down here at two. So we got two on the sixth, mute the fifth, open on fourth, and then two at the third. And then after that's played a few times, we do this next part, which is again utilizing chords that we've already learned.
And basically the rest of the song is these same chords. Um, and I'll tell them to you again so you remember. We are going to play open on the 6th. We're at 9. Ninth fret on the 5th string. Let the 3rd string ring. And then 12 on the 2nd. And then we go to 13 on the 2nd. And then this 2nd chord, we're at 7 on the 5th. Open 3rd string. 7 on the 2nd string. And then this last one, we got open on the 6th. 5 on the 5th. Meet the 4th. Open on the 4th. Open on the 3rd. 8 on the 2nd. And then leave the 1st string ringing. So it has this like nice melody to it. The... So it plays that a couple times and then it and then it kicks down the distortion and and plays really the same thing. I might even go into finger picking it at the end too, I can't really tell. And then again he throws on the first string at the seventh to complement the eighth on the second. So. Um, and then after the quiet part, it comes back in with the full distortion. And then um, that's the ending part, the... And then that last chug is the harmonics at seven and five. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole song. And I hope this was helpful to get you to learn the song because it's a really fun song to play, although a bit challenging. So good luck learning. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know what song to do next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. You were trashed out to the